School administrators across the region are trying to address the growing tre trend of students vaping. One Central Mass High School is installing new devices to crack down what they call a serious health issue. And as our Chandler, Wal Chandler Walsh reports, the school is also worried about potential safety hazards. Chandler. Olivia, Bay Path Regional Vocational Technical High School's Dean of Students hopes all school districts can share strategies to combat student vaping. He says not knowing exactly what students are putting in their e-cigarettes is even more of a concern. These vape products were confiscated from students at Bay Path High School. The Regional Vocational Technical School says they confiscate as many as four or five in a week. School safety and student safety is our number one priority at all times. Um, this is a situation where, where the, the health and the safety is, is called into question. Dean of Students Daniel McGowan says one vape pod contains the same amount of nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. To make the school healthier, they're purchasing vapor detectors to install in bathroom ceilings. They work by detecting vapor in the air and sending an immediate signal to administration. And then in real time, hopefully we can work to combat you know, the problem and, and essentially catch them in the act. Mary Ann Tossi has two children at Bay Path and says she's happy about the measure. I think that it's very difficult for the teachers and administrators to um, catch the kids doing vaping because of the apparatuses that they use. McGowan says vaping is a problem all school districts are facing. Across the board, it's, it's the most talked about discussion is how are you guys handling the vaping situation? The children do not know the health risks involved in the long-term um, exposure and what it will do to their health. Bay Path has also found instances where vapes and e-cigarettes contained THC. They use cannabis tests which show red if THC is present. McGowan says it's a real danger for a vocational school where students operate heavy machinery. It increases the, the chances of some kind of overall um, accidents or, or safety hazards that could take place. We can't afford to have that. McGowan says they're in the process of purchasing their first few vapor detectors. If effective, they plan on installing them in as many bathrooms as they can. Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight.